in the last video, we started our gold prospecting trip. A 2000 kilometer journey into remote areas deep in the outback in Western Australia. The car is pretty full on the road again. We are hoping to find gold deposits with our metal detectors. Deposits that haven't been discovered yet. The trip started on a good note as we found some nice gold on our first stop. Now we have finally arrived at our targeted starting area, nearby a spot where we have found multiple nuggets in a small area. Home sweet home! Almost looks like a solar farm, doesn't it? So yeah, we have arrived at our... Oh, get out of my nose! We have arrived at our uh, final destination, which is where we're going to camp for a week, maybe two, depends on how we go. Clint is already out detecting. I'm just about to get the inside set up. The quad was still in there. It was a bit cramped, but we've unloaded that. So now I can maybe set up a table in there and we might have to eat inside. I don't know if you can see that, but these flies, they're just insane. Really, really bad this year. It is very windy this morning. Clint and I actually shifted the camp this morning to face a different direction, but that was mainly for solar reasons. So now we're catching more sun. Clint is already out detecting yeah, and I think uh, I'm good to go. Hey guys, we're back at the um, patch that we found at the end of last year. And good news is it doesn't look like anyone else has been here. We camped about a K and a half away. It's the closest we can get. So I've walked over and Chrissy's going to come over once she's finished setting up the camp and stuff and come over on the bike and give me a hand. We brought chains so we can finish the patch so we're going to chain that way and see if we've, how many we've missed and hopefully we get enough off here to pay for the trip and then we'll look around try to find another one. We're camping in a different spot than last year. We are back at a spot where Clint found a patch of gold. It'll be interesting to see if any, anybody has been there in the meantime because we are a bit worried that uh, somebody would have come across all those detector holes. It was a lot of effort to get here. It took us several days. We spent a lot of money already and we sort of put all our eggs in one basket and said, yeah, let's go back here, see if we can find some more gold. And if not, we've got so much country around us. We've even got permission to go onto the next tenement over. So that'll be good. We can go exploring after hopefully we find some gold out here. Let's do it. First line, and I've got a signal already. It's only faint. Oh, these flies are going to turn my head in. Doesn't sound very big. Oh, yeah, it's tiny, tiny little one. Look at it. It's tiny. That won't pay for the trip. <laughs> Not the best day for um, filming because it's windy, it's buggery. All detecting, mind you. I'm just on the way back up the second row. I've got really faint signal. Like, hardly anything, but. I have a scratch to it. The detector I've had to put in auto plus the wind must be playing with it or whatever. Probably another little one. Little. I'd have still gold, I'm happy. And here, Chrissy. Oh, there she is, knocking around. Heading the wrong way as usual. She'll find it. 
finally made it. There's Clint detecting there already. Hopefully he's got a few bits. I'm gonna catch up with him in a second. But yeah, unfortunately, my microphone of the camera broke the connector. Unfortunately, we don't have a wind protective shield on the camera now, but yeah, see how we go. But it is quite windy today. It doesn't pay for the trip. Yeah. Not quite yet. Maybe a few hundred of those. Yeah. Where am I going? You can either go that way, back, or this way, back. You choose. So good to be finally back out here. And Clint found some nuggets already and he also said it looks like nobody has been here in the meantime so that is very good news. We were a bit worried that somebody might have come across those holes and yeah, cleaned out the patch. We'll start gridding systematically. Clint is on the middle. I'm gonna start over here and then we'll work away from each other in lines covering as much ground as we can. On about fourth line I'm sort of working from the middle heading north and Chris is working from the south heading to the middle. Haven't got nothing for a couple of lines but that sounds good. Not a bad little one. Wasn't very deep, so I was so loud. I'll take that any day. Finally, first signal of the day. In the schist. Oh yes, <laughs> I can see it, poking its head out of the dirt. Little surprise clump, I'll break it off. Oh, it's small. Oh, that's not even it. It's this small bit here. There. <laughs> it's tiny. <laughs> if a fly lands on it, then it's not going to be visible anymore. But it's the first piece of gold. Still gold left on this patch. It's just a matter of how much and yeah, hopefully they get a bit bigger than this. There's the last one just there. We got a little little burma. little ones. Alright, I think that's number four. Nice. In the schist. We got it. Should be able to see it now. Yes. <laughs> Maybe slightly bigger than the first one, but still a very small piece. There it is. Yeah, just a small bit. All of these small ones are gonna add up and Clint already had quite a few earlier when I spoke to him, so yeah, that's good. Second one. Better lift up my game. Got another good sound of one. Hopefully it's a bit deeper and bigger. Out here, every target we've had so far turned out to be a piece of gold. These areas, without any rubbish at all, are rare. Uh, not too bad. Not too bad. Keep them coming. Didn't have to walk far then. 
It is a great feeling to dig one nugget after the other on a patch like this. That's better. Yeah. Got that little bit of stuff. Take that out. Yeah. Everything is more difficult when you're surrounded by a swarm of flies. Eating while out in the bush is one of the biggest challenges. All the flies. Ooh. Got a bit of the beard down in one ear. It's right near one of our old holes. a bit wobbly. Can't see it yet. Ah oh, yeah I can. A little sh sharp bit. Probably one of the bigger ones we found this morning. Now Chris is going. She hopefully she's got a few. I'm still trying to find another piece of gold, which is not happening for me today. It's terribly noisy. I can see storm clouds over there. Every time I hit something or I bump something, the detector is yeah going off. So not very good conditions and doesn't look very good for my contribution to the kitty today. We've got a couple of signals right here. And then another one here somewhere. That one sounds a lot. We'll have a look. Oh, yeah. Tiny little one. That's the first signal. We'll have a look at the next one. Yeah. Right next to each other. One bit after the other, all those pieces of gold are adding up quickly. Another little speck. That was the one we just dug out then. We got one. See the bit better size or really shallow. More here. Oh, I just saw it. Look at that. That's better. Not very deep. That's a lot more of them. Just turn the camera off again and. So I got the one there, one there. Sounds like another one there. Clint's gold streak continued as he was digging up one nugget after the other. There we go. Down the rock. Oh, it's another good one. Another one, not too bad a size. Getting bigger. Just gonna check under this tree while I'm here. Bend the coil down and get right in there before I fill the holes in. So I hope there's not one under there because then I'll have to crawl in there. Looks alright. We'll fill her in. Keep going. 
Instead of spending all day on the patch, we decided to swing our detectors in the surrounding country to find out if the gold run continues elsewhere. We got sick of churning, so Chrissy and I are both gone for a little bit of a just scout around the patch. So I've come across a target. Probably like 500 metres from where we were. So I'm hoping this is another bit of gold and opens up a new area. Come on now, eh? Some people seem to be very lucky when it comes to finding gold. Clint seems to have a talent to walk away from gold, just to discover another gold deposit hundreds of meters away from the previous patch. I can see it. It's gold. New patch. Well, it takes a few bits to find a patch. Hopefully a new patch. Oh, okay, have a look. I've got a bit of a quartz flow there. I've just walked along that. No sound in that, but in between the quartz and the side, sort of shifty. And just like that, he's done it again. Clint found another interesting gold spot by metal detecting the surrounding area. In this case, it was for the better to leave one producing gold deposit just to discover a new one. A deposit that might develop into something bigger and better than the first one. There's a little chunk. Better than the ones we found this morning. There's a few more of them here. We got a signal here, and if you have a look closely, let's see if I can find with it. Right, uh, there. There it is. It's, it's sitting on top. Oh. Oh. For the sake of raising my gold tally for the day, I decided to metal detect around the area where Clint was still finding gold before he went prospecting the surroundings. Clint's already resting in the shade, I'm a bit jealous. <laughs> but I gotta do some catching up here, right next to his hole here by the way. Gold. Yeah. Can I see it? Yes. Probably 0.2 of a gram and my biggest one for the day so far. <laughs> <laughs> Actually probably more 0.1 of a gram but still it is the chunkiest. Good little spot here, right in between Clint's detector holes. To get a better target response, I tried changing the settings on the detector and continued finding more pieces of gold. gold. Yeah, must be tiny, but... Yeah, there's Can't even see it. Oh, there. It is tiny. <laughs> Very small, but still another one for the jar. Yeah, that would be good. Oh, the other two that I got right here were decent size too. Oh, that sounds all right. And I had to dig that a few times to make that stand out. Yeah. See it yet? There. Yeah, they're definitely getting bigger here. Not bad. Where's the fly for scale? No, oh, there's plenty here. I'll just hold it under my face. Plenty of flies for scale. <laughs> so that's where I had three under the tree before, and Chrissy found another one. Yeah, very faint. 
with my detector. So I can't blame that. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, Clint knew there was still gold left on his hotspot he left earlier, and he just let me have a look there so I could find a few more bits for the day. Very faint signal, but it's definitely a signal. See it. There? <laughs> Tiny. Can't even see it on the camera, it's no. that small. But definitely gold. Well done. You need to caught up. I'm just filming because um, Chris has got to catch up. So by the sounds of it, Chrissy might have the best sounding one for the day here. Yeah. And it's not a sunbaker because it does sound like it's buried. And this is the same tree where I've got three on the other side and Chrissy got one. Oh, I didn't come around this side. Sounds like at least a gram. I know. How exciting. I promise we can go home after this one, okay? Okay. Good. So I'm getting hungry. Fill in the hole. The screamer. Yes. Be in there. Oh, it's out. In there. That was a three grammar. Yes. Oh, I can see it. There. Well, it's not a three grammar. Not a three grammar. But close to one gram. Nice one grammar. Probably biggest for the day. Yeah. I'm glad I got it. <laughs> <laughs> we can go home now. I'm happy. Leave the rest till tomorrow. Yes. Chrissy is just making her way back to the bike and go. Didn't get very far. Or it's shallow. Well, I definitely prefer this area of the patch. Yeah. I didn't tell you about this spot. <laughs> no. I found it anyway. Oh, I can see it. Yeah. Let's see if you can see it on top. Whoa. It's a chunk. It's nice and flat. That'll have to be the biggest one That's now. That's the biggest one. Yeah. That'd have to be a gram and a half, two grams, wouldn't it? Definitely, and how shallow. Yeah. Screamer. Nice. Sort of thought you threw your rubbish over here. No, I wouldn't do that to you. Nice. Well, now we can go. Yes. The quad is only. Yeah, we nearly made it. <laughs> Probably find a few on the way there. Well done. How bad are the flies? Gazillions of them. <laughs> it's a bit better near the smoke, near the fire. Go first, eh? I'm gonna spread my mouth out first because they're still a bit wet. I gave them a little wash. 
six little ones and two bigger ones. Point seven. All those little ones, only point seven. <laughs> That's a bit over point one eight. Yeah, but I'm glad I got these two afterwards. Yeah, it's a bit better. And what's that one? Two and a half. Two and a half, yeah. yeah that's alright. I'm glad I had a chance to have a, have a look at over your spot. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with two and a half. Yeah, no, I'm happy with that. But I don't think that's anything in comparison to what you bought. Well, I've got a few more, but nowhere near as big as what did the bigger one weigh. Did you build it ah, on its own? Come on. The bigger one. 1.2. 1 1.2. 1 .2. Yeah, I don't think I've got any that big. Nice. Yeah, we'll just throw it all on. Yeah. Yes. Looking good. There's some tiny ones here. Oh, there's another one. Get them all. And we got four and a half. Four and a half. Nice. Very nice. Well, that's eight. Eight for the day. Oh. Yeah, let's put them all on there. Yeah, the total. Did I lose one? Yes. Seven. Seven gram day. My mass is way out. <laughs> well, not too bad. That's pretty good. Look how many of them. Oh, what flies? Yeah, that as well. Too many of those. And I found another little spot, so we'll go have a look there tomorrow. Sounds good. And hopefully, there's a few more there. Especially since the two you found there were a bit chunkier yeah. than the other ones from the other patch. And you can see the different colour. But yeah, definitely good. Glad you found something while you were prospecting. Yeah, it's good to find new spots. Yes. Hopefully it carries more gold. You're good at finding spots. Yeah, looking forward to tomorrow. Yeah. Hopefully we get the same sort of result tomorrow, if not better. Mmm. Open crossed. for a couple of chunkier ones. <laughs> yeah. As you do. That would be good. Some veggies. And alfoil on the coals and a roast. It's massive. We hope you're going to join us again next week. Until then, stay safe out there, guys.